Hello everyone. Um, you'll probably know that of late I've been having fun with uh, mobile dining. This sort of thing. Uh, this one proved to be uh, rather dangerous for Mrs Rathbone and I and we got cut to shreds using it. Uh, this one was a lot more successful. Got another example this time to look at guys. This little fellow here. Everything you could possibly want in a mobile dining set in one handy little uh, tool. Look at this. Very nice. This time we have a proper fork, a proper spoon, a proper knife. Look at that. Doesn't feel too sharp but then you don't really need it all that sharp for um, dining. We have a can and bottle opener, a corkscrew and what I am going to call a skewer. Because I mean, you know, what else do you need on a eating implement? When you first take a look at this thing, you kind of think, well, how on earth are you supposed to use this as a knife and fork set when the knife and fork are on the same end? And then you discover, you open the spoon and the fork and it comes apart. Look at that. Brilliant. So now, when you uh, fold the uh, spoon away, you do actually have a proper knife and fork look. A few dimensions for you. Closed like this, 110 mil with the fork and spoon open. You're looking at 185 millimeters long. It's 180 millimeters with a knife open and 162 millimeters with the a bottle opener stroke can opener open and the little skewer sticks out at 42 millimeters width at the spoon 40 millimeters depth 35 millimeters how much weight is this going to add to your camping gear four and a half ounces or 128 grams you also get this little um key ring here on the end so you can uh, hang it off of a, a bag or something a back bag or whatever I don't know what you do with a, uh, a corkscrew while you're out camping I mean you might take a bottle of wine that's got a cork in it I don't know uh, most of the wine Mrs Rathbone buys comes with a screw cap these days um, this little skewer here well I dare say you could probably use it to um, oik out a uh, well done steak from a horse's hoof be quite handy because you could eat it afterwards um, or you could use it for like a you know um, what they call it now um, kebabs you know where you have a, like a, a bit of meat and then a bit of veg a bit of meat a bit of veg etc like that you could you could have a very small one of those on there I guess as knives and forks go they are quite usable as you can see um, I think the only problem I experienced was uh, sometimes the fork would um, fold while you're using it I did actually have that. Um, what I'll do is in a moment or two, I'll roll in some footage about uh, of me using this knife and fork, eating my pizza last Saturday. Using it as a spoon should present very few problems I would have thought, but you know, because it doesn't fold up if you're using it right-handed. Maybe if you're using it left-handed, you may experience some problems with it uh, folding away, look. But if you keep your finger on it, you'll be all right. Yeah, not too bad just like every other spoon really one other interesting use i found for the fork here especially was um you know um in the evening you sit around the campfire singing songs check this out excellent for entertainment then last saturday i uh, used the knife and fork set to eat my pizza so what we'll do is I'll roll in that footage for you and you can take a look right let's give the little EDC cutlery set a go with pizza it's not as easy to use as a standard knife and fork obviously but um, there we go hmm definitely works try a bit of salad Mm. See the thing is I find the um, the forks at a funny angle but it does actually work although you probably saw it there folding up a little bit 
get some onions into the picture. Hmm. Well, yeah. Oh, there you go, look, see it folding up. Yeah. Works with pizza then. <laughs> Bloody hell. Really hot pizza too. The blade doesn't really need to be that sharp for dining with, but um, it doesn't feel all that sharp either. But what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get Bob the bits a bag in and see just how uh, good it is. And as usual, start with this not very good uh, diagram here, but I don't expect it to do much. And it's not even uh, not even yeah, it's not even making an attempt to start on the paper. But then I didn't expect it to. Get rid of that. What about the cardboard then? Let's give it a cardboard a go. Well, no, it isn't like that either. Look. Uh, oh, hang on. So, if we're camping then, what about cutting rope? You know. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Cut the rope. That's quite handy then. Uh, what about speaker style cable? Give that a go. Well, not really. No, so you won't be able to rip. Oh, I don't know, it's nearly through. Let's just finish it off then. There we are. It's a very rough cut on that. But then again, you see, you don't really need all that sharpness for uh, cutting dinner up, do you? What about the can opener? Uh, I've had a go at this can already, as you can see. Let's have a look, see if it's any good or not. Is it going to... Oh, it's, yes, it's getting in there, look. I'm sure you can see that. It's definitely a... Uh, you can definitely use it to open a can then, that's alright. There we go. That's pretty handy then. And now we'll hand over the bottle opener to Mrs Rathbone. This is EDC knife, fork and spoon set. And it's got, I can get open. It's got a can opener and bottle opener. Well, let's give it a go. Okay, yeah, that was quite easy. That's a good one. Cool. <laughs> right then, thank you very much for that, Mrs. Rathbone. Let's not forget, um, and I nearly did, uh, Gearbest sent this in for us to play with today. Um, something else they've helped us out with. Thank you very much, Gearbest. Very big supporter of the channel. And you can check them out via my uh, special affiliate Gearbest link down below in the description. If you click on that special link down there and you purchase anything you like, maybe even this, I will get a uh, small commission which goes to helping my channel out. Thank you very much guys. I uh, will also put a specialist uh, link to this down below as well, affiliate link, because uh, this comes in several colours. I uh, Mine came in the gold as you can see and it's quite nice. I think it comes in red and another colour, I can't remember what the other colour is. I'll put you a little picture here of um, whatever the other colours are. Anyway, um, what do you think then guys? Uh, is this helpful to you? Do you go camping? Do you need something like this here? Again, you might be one of these people that likes to take their own uh, dining set along to a restaurant or whatever. You know, um, it's quite handy for that. As I say, you can use it uh, very much like a uh, standard knife and fork, really. It's quite good for that. I had no problems using it with my pizza, as you saw. So, very useful little bit of kit, I thought. Okay, guys, let me know what you think of the uh, review of the uh, little dining set here, uh, if you like it. Good, if you don't, uh, well, you know, let me know what you use. It'd be quite interesting to find out what you take about with you. Um, I found it quite good, this. Uh, as I say, thank you very much to Gearbest for sending it in. I think a lot of uh, us YouTubers now are, are trying out Patreon 
you'll find there's quite a few of them out there using Patreon. I use Patreon too. Uh, here's my Patreon page address if you wish to help the channel out in that way. You can also follow me on Instagram. And don't forget you can subscribe to the channel as well. If you like the review, uh, please feel free to click like. Uh, you can share it with your friends as well, your camping friends. They might um, might be interested in getting a new uh, bit of kit like this. Okay guys, I um, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you'll return to the channel at some time in the near future. Catch you later! Rough.